Sir Devon has been... Sir Devon, heir to Sir Gordon, heir to Sir Lee, has been defeated. We have Lady Lisa, Sir James, or Sir Mauricio. We've got Synesthesia. Gold plus 25%. Uh, they have Shockwave. And the Sir James is a ranger that has a antique rage tin 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 tincture tin 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 or some marriage who's a knight that has chronic fatigue syndrome that sounds like it's gonna be a pain in the ass gravity beam though I mean, we're probably going to end up as a different class anyway. Because I'm going to unlock one of them, I imagine. And I'm curious what this Rage Tincture is. Let's go with Sir James. Let's unlock the Enchantress, shall we? Don't let her height fool you. The Enchantress is smaller than she looks. Find runes for her, and she can imbue you with uh, magical power. Gain the ability to siphon life from your foes, redirect damage, and improve your magical repertoire. Learn from your ancestors' past mistakes and gain permanent bonuses for dying. Unlocks mastery rings. Hmm, interesting. What class do we want to be? Barbarians believe eating vegetables makes you weak. They also have scurvy, so what do they know? <laughs> a great place to practice, to get some practice of heavy weaponry, plus it doubles as a playground. Sandpits Academy. Everyone can learn magic, but not everyone can grow a sick beard. Uh, I think I will unlock the Valkyrie. Girl Meat Boy. Attack from afar, up high, or down low. With their long range and their ability to attack in any direction, Valkyries are considered the cheesiest of soldiers. Alright, we're a Valkyrie now. After taking damage, deal 100% more damage during the invincibility window. Ooh. Uh, can't attack while moving, can aim at your attack, but dash attacks are always skill crits. Destroy all mid-sized projectiles, destroying mana, recharges on hit, and fully recharges on successful count. Interesting. Cool, alright. So, we can upgrade those. Ooh, Ducky, thank you so much for this extravagant tent. The ka-flowing uh, through it is so overwhelming that it makes me dizzy. Just kidding. I saw the price tag. Talk about cheap. The only thing making me dizzy are the fumes from all the cleaning agents I had to use. Can you get a girl anything better? Beggars can't be choosers. So I've decided not to be poor anymore. Now let's talk about magic with a capital M for money. Because let me, d let me tell you, Ducky, enchantments are not cheap. Find me some sweet runic stones and I can grant you powers you couldn't even dream of. Like stealing the life force from your enemies or being slightly magnetic. And that's it. That's all I got. So you find me those runic stones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are, those are expensive. Oh my god, these are very expensive. I will buy a lever weapon. It's my damage by two. I will buy a le lever unity. I love it. Might as well buy all the lever kit. Can't remember what resolve actually does in this game. Picture is successful, but the equipment was too heavy to wear. Increase your weight allowance or unequip another item to put this one on. Oh. If 
fast shields. Uh, increases max weight capacity. Oh my god, I'm nowhere near getting that again. So where's this mastery rank thing? Sage Tome is a repository for knowledge. Every warrior is bound to him, allowing their wisdom to pass on to others. You now gain mastery XP with each class. Gain enough XP to rank up and earn permanent stat bonus. Cool. A leather cape sounds uncomfortable and heavy. It does a little, doesn't it? Uh, arsenal. It's like a gym, but with weapons instead of weights. Increases strength, raising weapon damage. That sounds good to me. Get the dummy too, I guess. Lady Quinn loves everything about combat except causing pain. She became a living training dummy and now teaches everyone how to fight. All day long. Lady Quinn can teach you advanced combat maneuvers down by the dock. Okay. Don't have that much gold left. Uh, guess let's up our health, I suppose. This is a nifty place you have here. My name is my name is Lady Quinn. And I'm excited to meet you. I'm a living dummy, and I know everything about weapons and stuff. I love everything about them. So if you have any questions, just ask. I could talk your butt off about them, and who knows, maybe you could learn a trick or two. And so sorry about my stutter. It gets worse, I'm f feeling shy. Okay, well, it's nice to t talk to you. Your weapon is super versatile, you know you can attack in four different directions. Up, up, down, left. I mean, right. <laughs> Trade-off is that it's a bit clunky, so your attack speed is a little slower. It's one of the coolest effects moves ever. Deflect. Correctly timing deflect requires precision, but if it's done correctly, it will knock away almost any projectile. Plus, every time you successfully deflect a projectile, your cooldown resets. So if you're really good, you can deflect forever. Okay. Deflecting projectiles also gives you mana. It's crazy how powerful it is. So you're fighting a flame lock, you can just deflect everything and get all your mana back super fast. It's that good. Did you notice if you hit an enemy from above with a downward swing, you'll actually bounce up into the sky? The bounce height is almost the same as a spin kick. Here's a cool trick if you're really confident. Downstrike an enemy, then spin kick right away to deal extra damage. Ah. Cool. Uh, alright, yeah. Gone over, gone over that stuff. Cool, okay, I'm ready. Still not entirely sure what resolve actually affects. Resolve. All relics require resolve to hold. Going below 100% will reduce your max health by an equivalent amount. Oh. Reduces your max health, but so what's the bonus of having it? Why require resolve? Because we can just have more relics if we have more resolve. I guess. If I have more, I got more health for having more, less resolve. Yeah. 
I'm the sage totem, and you are now bound to me. All your knowledge will be housed within my spirit wood. To gain mastery in one profession is to gain advantage in all. What we share in knowledge makes us strong. That is all. Why are you still here? My monologue is over. I'm bad at idle banter. Mondays, am I right? The sage totem. So why would you want more resolve? Why would you want higher resolve? Like, what does that give you? Plus 75%. Like, the more resolve you have, the less max health you have. Oh, up to a point. But then, so then why do you want... these before your max health drops. Although these are called runes, not really. Oh, those are relics. Oh, I think, oh, I see. Each one of those is minus if I, okay. okay, I think I get it. I don't super, super duper understand that, to be honest. I only had like 149. If I wanted to spend all my money, I would have spent all my money. The golden doors won't open until all the estuaries have gathered together. That is all that lies between us and freedom. If I can open it, I can fix everything. I can save everyone. Alright, in we go again. Although actually, before I go in again, I'm going to real quickly... Check on my cat. Don't forget that we are sponsored by Udi for today. I'm taking mine off just for a little bit because I am hot as hell uh, right now. But I'm gonna I'll put it back on afterwards. It's just for some reason it is. It's not a hot day. It's just this room is really hot right now. So I gotta I gotta I gotta take it off just for a little bit. But it definitely, it definitely works for keeping you warm. That much is for certain. Oh god! Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go up. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, you careful now. Hey, yeah, take that. Get poisoned. Oh, those are iron bars. That's what those are. I always wonder what those things are supposed to be. The things I use to help make armor that makes that makes more sense in the in the thing they don't look like iron they look like something else gems or something and the blood helps us get rel uh, runes not relics so much terminology. I gotta remember now, so dashing with this character, oh god, dashing and attack with this character is always a guaranteed crit. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. Might be missing out on some gold. Oh yeah, and I gotta practice my uh, projectile deflecting with the Valkyrie as well. It seems to be like a big thing in her arsenal. Oh, what's this? 
Oh, these are relics. Choose this relic to reveal its power. Cool. Choose this relic to reveal... Okay, so the power rages scalding those who wield it. Amaretsu's son. Cornucopia. Health drops restore an additional 8% of your max health. Cool. Primer on relics. Relics are powerful items that cost resolve to wield. Going below 100% resolve, resolve will lower your maximum health. Okay. Oh no, my health changed because of the... Oh, the, oh no, I get it. I, get, I understand now why my health changed. Because it's because of the armor I had on. Gain bonus resolve based on your total weight. Staying light can add an extra 125 bonus resolve. Raise your maximum equipment to help keep your weight class low. Okay, so... I can't really take any more relics now. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. scary. <laughs> a little, uh, little intense there. Alright, let's head off to the right. The black roots keep growing. They're everywhere now. The guards continuously cut them down, but they keep growing back. I swear the land is reacting to our pain. The more people we lose, the thicker the black roots seem to grow. Sorry I've been missing our meetings at the Golden Doors. The estuaries demand the impossible. They raise our work hours and they tax us incessantly. And when people complain, they are arrested. So many friends are gone. Jay, you have no idea what it's like over here. The kingdom has become a powder keg. Just waiting to explode. And it's our job to light it. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance, Jay. We can do something. We can save everyone. Have I played Hades? Yeah, I played Hades a lot on stream. When it came, when it fully released, I played that game probably too much. Oh god, what the heck? What the heck was going on there? It just suddenly became like completely invincible. Yeah, no, I, I played the ever loving crap out of Hades, like a lot. Oh man. It's gonna lower my maximum health. Probably shouldn't take it though. I probably will though. Lotus battle. Increase your mana pool by 50. Yeah. Okay, wow, well, that's that drops your max HP by quite a lot. I don't think this is going to be a very successful run. Off the, based off of my current uh, gaming prowess so far as the Valkyrie, this is not going amazingly well. Okay, that doesn't work against those. Alright, I just figured I should check. To work against these? I don't know. Hmm. Now, 
Hades, Hades is definitely one of the best roguelites I've ever played. Uh... Oh yeah, I can bounce off of projectiles now. I forgot about that. Or some projectiles. Or not projectiles. What? If I could. Maybe non-magic based projectiles? I don't know. I swear it's that I could bounce off projectiles. A leather trinket. A beautiful piece of... What's that? Like a leather jewelry? Like just a... I guess you can get leather, like... You can get leather bands and stuff. I could just get under that attack, but uh, I couldn't. Damn. That was a that was a that was not the best run in the world. Hmm. Lady Lisa. So Sir James is gone. Do we want Lady Lisa, Flame Barrier, and Wardrum? Sir Caleb. CIP and chronic fatigue syndrome, but it's a lot of extra money. Free strike. Or Lady Kirsten, who has giganticism. Um, I do want to see what this war drum thing's about. The antiques interest me quite a lot because they seem quite happy. They seem quite helpful. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll go. We'll go with the the war drum thing. And we're going to be doing being a different class now anyway, so... Uh, ooh, barbarians or mages? Let's try... Hmm. Let's try barbarians. Welcome to Spin City. Don't let their bulky bodies and low IQ fool you. Barbarians are some of the most agile warriors in the kingdom. Armed with a powerful axe, barbarians are a whirling wheel of death and more death. I will become a barbarian. He demanded a place where he could ferment his screws, and you obliged. Unlocks the architect. I'm gonna real quickly. Every unique relic increases your damage by 6%. Oh. Cool. Let's have a look, see what he says about the this one. That's a big axe. It's so heavy, you can't swing it in the same way in the air as on the ground. But I love swinging in the air because it keep, makes... Uh, uh, it's momentum makes you spin. It can deal a lot of done correctly, especially if you use it while dashing. The axe's heft means you have to commit to every swing, but you want to know a cool trick? If you make a rainbow arc over enemies while spinning, you can hit them like a gajillion times. I call that move the rainbow slash because you rain down the pain. Bad axe. The bat. That bad axe is super strong, and when swung on the ground, it'll cleave for enemies. Also, hitting enemies with your ground swing is how the barbarian recovers mana. So don't spend all your time in the air. If you feel like you're too slow and vulnerable while swinging on the ground, just remember your dash is instant. So use it to attack and dodge away quickly. 
The shout is amazing. It destroys all projectiles and freezes nearby enemies. Plus, it works instantly, so it can cast it whenever in a bind. And the best part about it, it charges up whenever you get hit, so make sure to use it to exact revenge. Here's a small little neato, neato tidbit. When you land from a spinning attack, you knock back enemies in a small radius around you. It's a small thing to keep in mind, but still pretty cool. Cool. All right, that's pretty good to know. I might take off some armor if having relics increases my max damage. Improve your heirloom and shape the air around you to create your wind. Gain addition additional air dashes is pretty good. Definitely gonna have that. gold left. Can I spend that anywhere? No. Okay, hang on. Oh, I can. Uh, find tax loopholes and save on Charon's levy. Unlocks the living save. Before being transmogrified, the living save hid money for the rich to keep them poor. Now that he's on your side, he doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> the percentage of the gold you give to Charon is held by the living safe instead. I think. Hey, friend over here, it's me, a living buddy, the living safe. You're here because you want the stuff, right? Because boy, oh, I got the stuff. I'm talking tax loops, friendo, and oh boy, am I got loops on loops and fruit loops. The fruits on loops. I'm an accountant, and with a bit of wizardry, I can take gold from even death himself. That's the secret to making money, friendo. It's not about how much money you make, it's about how much you keep. And we're keeping it all, or at least a small percentage of it. I got my own like little offshore bank account. It's big damage. It's quite impressive how different each class feels in this. They did a really good job of distinguishing between them in this one. In the original, the classes kind of just changed the stats you had. They, they, you'd, you'd play them slightly differently, but they didn't feel very different. Like, they all feel very different in this one. Plan on seeing Doctor Strange? I am, yes. I'm gonna watch it on Friday when it comes out. Go see with my friends. How many years has it been since we first came down here? Fifty years? A hundred? A thousand? My patience is at its end. Oh, this is the this is the memories of the boss before. These scholars, they jump from one fancy to the next. Uh, like they're the bell of the ball, just singing and dancing and never finishing anything they've started. They've taken our gifts of life and abused it. This lackadaisical behavior must be brought to an end. They must be punished. Only through a pain can we drive discovery. I've brought this up before, but the others never agree with me. They never do. I'll bring it up once more at the next meeting, but this time it'll be different. I can feel it. Everyone's patience has a limit, and something tells me the 13th time will be the charm. <laughs> Lin. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here's the ball. Gonna do a little wandering before I go to the boss. Ooh, Demetrius Trial. Choose this relic to reveal its power. Voltax Circuit. Energy through friction. Those who give now will be rewarded later. And I have a relic that every unique relic increases your damage by 6%, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Those who give now will be rewarded later. Damn it, tears travel. Until purified, any hit taken is fa- oh god. I took this because it's like, oh, zero resolve, that's good. There's a reason though. Until purified, any hit is taken as well. Collect two food potions for this relic and gain 93 max health and 50 mana. Uh, definitely not going to the boss yet, then. Yeah, sounds like it's time for a boss right now, right? Nope. <laughs> I, I, uh, I just... Uh... I just don't know if that's safe right now. Is it... No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, another one! Oh, this is different. Blessing of life. Take 9,000... Sorry, take 99,999 damage, but increase max HP by 47. Consume nectar. Restore 75 health and 125 mana. Oh, I'm, I know why that's taking so much damage, because we take every hit is fatal. I was like, that doesn't seem fair. But every hit is fatal, so yeah. Click two food slash potions. I don't know if that counts as food or not. I'm gonna leave this for now and come back to it. Ah, I'm scared. <laughs> Destroy all targets, open me. So close. Roll targets, lose no health. No! Not one of these ones. No, not doing this one right now. Oh my god, I need food so much right now. <laughs> I'm far too scared to go in that room right now. Nah, 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 nah. Like if I if I had my if I had my shout queued, I'd go in there and shout. But it's I can't I can't handle that right now. I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. I was stuck in the corner. I was like, there's a spike ball and two knives coming at me at the same time. I, fuck all I can do right now. God damn it. 
masochism. Twenty-five percent gold. Yeah, sure. Let's see what this masochism is. Lady Autumn. Lady Lisa didn't last very long, unfortunately. But Lady Autumn. That's the one that's gonna really get us going. Regain 50% of your mana when hit, but can't regain mana from attacks. That doesn't sound very good for a mage. Who <laughs> I wanted to just unlock. Definitely not gonna be a mage of that tree. Uh, let's do... Restore health and mana when entering a boss chamber. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, let's see. Plus 20%. So it's not the full not the full amount. Uh, so it's 500. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to upgrade... Oh, damn. Yeah, we can do that. We're going to leave it like that. Oh. Magic. Oh, that ups magic damage. Huh? I want to tell you your gear sets for each character class. The thing this feature on will ensure every class remembers what gear they wore the last time they entered the kingdom. First time you turn this on, every class will begin with a default armor set. Yeah, okay. That's pretty... That's that's actually very handy. So we can have specific things. Um, yeah, I guess that's okay for now. Very, very, that's a very nice little quality low. I like it a bit. You know, if it wasn't for all the monsters and the danger of the monsters, these docks would be pretty nice. Plus, I'm getting a nice wood tan. Love ranges. Bows are my favorite. Bows are built for power. If you shoot them while airborne, expect a lot of pushback. But that also means if you shoot downwards while airborne, you can technically keep yourself afloat. Don't forget to create ivy platforms in the heat of battle. They're a great perch to aim from and can save you if you fall into a pit of spikes. Plus, it only takes a few seconds to charge back up. It's also helpful to know that firing an arrow while standing on an ivy platform will inflict spore bursts on enemies. These are great for clearing out a lot of b b butt guys. I mean bad guys. <laughs> Don't forget shooting an arrow is slow, but you can always dash away early. I call it the dash cancel. And you can do it with a lot of stuff. It's great. Uh, if you're really confident, it's best to always be in the air. Mix bow shots with spin kicks and you can be in the air forever. But she looks super cool while doing it. I do like the mobility on archers. It's pretty great. Armor will keep you grounded. Damage the enemies above you applies vulnerable. Okay. Mm, gain for some amount of hit. Uh, right. Seems like a class you see cool clips of, yeah. And you're like, I want to do that, and then you do it, and you're like, this is way harder to do than these people make it look. Hmm. 
Uh, what's, oh my god. Trial. The toll must be paid. Oh god, that's gonna be something awful again. I'm gonna take Eight Sword, uh, just because like the other one has zero and it was bad last time I took a zero one. You deal 125 percent more damage, but this relic is fragile. Okay, so it's gonna break when we get hit, basically. Which might be like, which will be hilarious if it's straight away, but it worth a lot of damage. It breaks in the first hit. I wouldn't be surprised if it breaks in the first hit because it's adding a lot of damage to our attacks. <laughs> yeah. This would be a handy thing to take to the boss and then lose like straight away, but still handy. I mean, if I'm going to get the... It's 100% extra, isn't it? You deal 100% more damage. So I guess that would be extra. <laughs> it's a real shame all that stuff has fallen down there. <laughs> oh, my mum's calling me. One second. I was thinking about putting the platform down there, but I think I will accidentally get myself hit whilst trying to put it down and then lose my relic. If I didn't have the relic, I'd go for it, but the relics made me a bit cautious about putting the platform down there.
Now I'm getting all the food. Now that I now that I'm not the barbarian with that crazy relic that does like makes me f take fatal damage whenever I get hit. I still I still feel like I'm the, the barbarian. Only now my it's not fatal damage. It's just I lose all this cool damage I'm doing. Whoa. You will no longer do sexy amounts of damage. It'll be very unsexy damage. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> been so physically attracted to a number before. And I've always found the number six to be quite a sultry number. <laughs> Ooh, number six. Number eight. Number eight. Get out of here. Number eight. All right, let's get to you now. Okay, this is interesting. That was like a lot more intimidating looking than it actually was. Like, I was like, oh god, this is gonna be really rough. Yeah, it's actually like, just pretty chill, you know? Just keep it calm, keep, it, keep, keep, keep yourself together. Alright, not gonna go up there, because that'll take me to another area. Uh, I guess we're gonna go down and right then. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up we go. I look at, I go in the room, my first thing I do is I'm like, okay, which direction are all the projectiles firing off right now? <laughs> Where am I most safe to stand? Mm. We can keep this up, we'll be done by lunch. <laughs> Is that? I feel like I shouldn't have come in here. Maybe this was the perfect time to come in here. <laughs> yeah. Boss rush, but it's normal enemies, so just a normal, so just an arena then. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, the the high damage made that significantly easier. Oh, lots of stuff. Hey, right, well, that's kind of cool. Never seen one of them before. I mean, you know, it wasn't too bad. I was a bit worried that I might get hit, but the high damage actually turned out to be a massive boon there. to for it. High damage in a situation where you need to kill lots of enemies is a boon. <laughs> Damn. 
crazy. Ooh, a scholar's helm. A simple outfit worn by the acolytes up in the study. She didn't shove that <laughs> in the spikes. Okay. Oh, careful now, careful now, okay. We don't want to lose, we don't want to lose this damage up to something stupid like a spinning spike ball. Uh, oh, there's a way down in that room. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, I don't really want to go back in that room right now, so I'm going to go down instead. Although, to be honest, this room is not that much better. <laughs> Did I really just do that? Did I really just fly into that? Wow. Uh, I think I might have to turn that setting off. <laughs> I might have to turn off the dual button dash. I died. I died then because I was facing in one direction and I forgot that I had dual button dash on. I died a lot. So uh, yeah, that was kind of that was kind of annoying. Dual button dashes, right trigger is dash right, left trigger is dash left, or normal is just dash whatever direction you're facing. This ray requires you to like make sure you like point in a certain direction. I don't know. I've got. I did get kind of used to the dual button for dash thing now. I did it. I did it then because I just forgot for a second. But it's actually been like pretty handy most of the time. Is you can dash backwards, but you just have to make sure to remember to turn around. Your enemies increase your weapon crit damage. Nice. That. That was scary. <laughs> uh, obelisk. Okay. Provide. Provide providence. Not for consumption. Let's try the obelisk. Your skill crits have an extra 25% chance of becoming super crits. Ooh. Okay. I don't really understand the, the crit the crit thing they explained actually. Um uh, damage. Detection focus add bonus damage to critical strikes. These scale these stats scale off your crit damage multiplier. Skill crits. Nearly all damage dealing abilities have a special way to land a skill crit. Check your item description on how to skill crit. Random crits. All spells and attacks have a chance to randomly crit. Increase your random crit chance for runes and relics. If a random crit is triggered during a skill crit, it will become a super crit. So random crit chance is halved when calculating the chance of a super crit. Okay. I remember in the original Rogue Legacy, there was, I think it was the Assassin class, who was just like completely broken. 
because they had like you could just raise their skill crit level to like their critical chance to just like insane levels where they were basically just critting every hit and it just made them like by far the most overpowered class in the game i'm an estuary hand chosen by our king we are the pinnacle of royalty and by the king's decree all of us stand below us and here i sit rotting in the halls after my fellow estuaries banish me from the table me of all people from the table me from table me I think we should kill some of the scholars, and I should be given my allotted hour to explain why. It's not my fault the others don't spend their full hours speaking their mind. And who cares if I've brought up the same argument for the last 30 meetings? I'm an estuary. I can bring it up as many times as I want. You think they can throw me out like I'm somehow lesser? Well, no. I'm not below them. They are below me. Every day they putter away at their civic duties like natty little nya -nya -nya rats. They read their stupid little flip, flip, flip books. They train their weak little herp derp soldiers. And they grow their ugly little eggplants. I don't know what sound an eggplant makes. But I'm above those mund mundanities. My role is too important to be hindered by so-called duties. I am the bastion that guards the gates. La the last, nay only required line of defense against any would-be attackers. This peace places them in a dull stupor. They need me. One day this peace will end, and when that day comes, I will show them who is truly superior. You can overleak my balls. Can dare leak my balls? Man, I really miss that high damage. Some good, there was some good shit that I wasted uh, because I dashed into a ah, pile of spikes. platform was ready <laughs> but it wasn't and we'll go here hey nice oh I forgot we can double dash double dash uh, do I want to go to the boss yet um I did before. Do I now? Kinda ish, a bit. Ah, what the heck, man? Ah! Well, that was just a disaster. <laughs> that was just a big old disaster. A scholar weapon. Still with the Milby 60 top? Oh, damn. Still got that baby going. Weighted anklet? Beware the allure of gold that is heavier than it looks. Mm. Perfection is the drive, not the goal. Alright, what's this? Weapon skill crits now apply magic break for 2.5 seconds. What is magic break? Enemies take 20% more spell damage. Okay. Oh, really? Some real, real clumsy maneuvers I'm doing right now. Mm. 
That's great. Let's just let's, let's just attempt the boss, I guess. Don't know why I'm doing this. Ah. Uh, Oh, no! I knew it was happening, I just couldn't react fast enough. <laughs> I was like, uh, Just was not... Was not ready to react to that. 